In this video, we're going to look at how you can use Sales Navigator to uh, map accounts, and uh, the permutations are almost endless around what you can do. So let's stick with Microsoft, but feel free to do this across any uh, any organization. So I will go and find the Microsoft account. And remember, <clears throat> make sure you have saved the accounts here. If you haven't saved it, click uh, Save. And then the first thing we're going to go is to All Employees. Next thing you want to do is when you're at all employees, make sure you go to see all filters. So you've got all capability of what can uh, be done from here. <clears throat> and then genuinely, it is absolutely endless around what we can uh, you can do. You can search by uh, job function. So if you send us the HR function, you would then uh, choose human resources. And then this will just pick out uh, human resources. And then from here, you can then start to uh, filter down further to understand what you want to do. You can do a quick check if you've got any first degree connections or secondary connections. So click first. Quick way to see am I, am I actually connected to anybody in HR within um, Microsoft? If not, you can then use your secondary connections to see if there's routes in. And of course, if you're on advanced or advanced plus, you'll have Team Link, uh, which will be here, which will show you if you have any Team Link connections, i.e., your internal colleagues that can help you um, drive that. You can also do keyword searches here within here. So if I want to look for anybody that's got uh, I don't know, maybe innovation in their um, profile on the innovation side of things, you can type the keyword innovation. And now I'm looking for anybody in Microsoft, in human resources with, with innovation in their, um, uh, in their profile. From here, I might then want to look at uh, which geography they're in. So if I want to look at those that are based in uh, Seattle, I can choose Seattle, and then we're going to drill this search down uh, even further and start to map um, map through. We can take it even further. You can see the different levels of um, seniority. So if I want to look for those that are VP or um, CXO, so I want to look at VP level, take it down even further. And uh, here we go in terms of those uh, those individuals. From here, of course, you would then want to uh, save these people as leads by clicking uh, Save. Once you have saved these individuals as uh, leads, they, of course, don't know that has happened. But you will then track to see what they are doing, whether they are posting on LinkedIn, whether they've changed, um, changed jobs, whether they've been promoted. So this is the way of getting your um, sales navigator, sales navigator accounts set up to work for you in the um, uh, in the background. There are many other ways that you can <clears throat> look at this. We can do a specific keyword uh, search. So for example, if you were to sell into um, legal and you want to find the general all general counsel, I can then just go in here. And I tend to do it this way versus going by a um, specific job title, general counsel. And then we can see the general counsel, all 817 of them that are within um, uh, Microsoft, and again, the same principle, you'd use these filters down the side to uh, filter out where um, they uh, are based, what seniority, um, and so on and uh, so forth. Other things that uh, I find useful is you can also uh, look at where maybe former alumni are within. So if you um, I don't know, make it up, let's say you work for um, IBM, or you could maybe work for, maybe you work for Accenture or whoever your organization is. So we'll now want to, I work for Accenture, and I want to see if there are any Accenture alumni within um, Microsoft, there are 4,000, and let's say I sell into the um, marketing function, so I then want to go into function, and I pick marketing. So now I'm looking for people that, imagine I work at, I work at Accenture, so I now want to um, find alumni in Microsoft who used to work for Accenture, and um, we can see that Fiona Carney, uh, Chief Marketing Operations Officer, Western Europe, um, used to work for Accenture, she left in 2007. So I might then use this as a... a route in to start a conversation with Fiona to go, hey Fiona, I know you don't know me, but I work at Accenture, you used to work at Accenture, this is what I'd like to um, uh, talk to you, or use your uh, mutual connections to look through that introduction, and or again, uh, if you're on Advanced or Advanced Plus and you've deployed Team Link and Team Link Extend, you'll have Team Link here where you can use that Team Link um, function to ascertain who within uh, your uh, organization has a potential route into uh, route into uh, same principles that must apply then once you've identified your individuals you want to um, do save 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 and you can go from there and then of course once they are all saved they will then um, appear in your um, uh, your home feed which is where you then want to live on a, a daily basis as it uh, as it were the other aspect if, if you want to rather than just saving leads but you want to keep an eye on uh, alumni moving in and out of uh, microsoft down here you can see save search 
So if you were to click, say, search, whilst that won't highlight what these individuals are doing, if somebody who used to work at Accenture joins Microsoft, you will then get a notification in your um, safe searches uh, up here that this new thing has um, uh, has happened. So it's a really powerful way to think about what is the shortest and quickest route into a conversation with an organization. Is it a referral? Is it through the alumni network? Is it through um, TeamLink? And use these filters to really start to drive down and filter out and basically map your accounts um, to find the target audience that you want to um, uh, talk to.